This is the Marchant ACT-10M. It's a calculator that uses a proportional gear mechanism. That mechanism was introduced in 1934 by Harold Avery. And this machine uh, was probably made in the mid-1940s, between around 1946 and 1948. Uh, it's a very fast calculator for its time. I'll go through all the features that it has. Uh, it has a, a full keyboard, and if you enter a number, it's, uh, it's visible in this uh, control register, this input display register here. It has a 20-digit a uh, main register, 11-digit counter. So if I've entered a number, I can press the plus button and it adds it to the main register, increments the counter. And I can subtract by pressing the minus button, like that. Of course, subtractions uh, yeah, reduce the uh, counter. But you can, you can uh, change that behavior by switch flipping this switch here, now a subtraction will increment that, uh, the counter, like that. Um, you can shift the carriage using these uh, arrow buttons on the, on the right. And uh, you can clear the uh, registers using these buttons. The c you can clear the counter with this the main register with this, and the keyboard input you can clear with this. But the keyboard is automatically cleared when you do an addition or a subtraction. Um, so addition and subtraction is really easy like that. To do multiplication, you can use these uh, multiplier keys on, on the side. So if I uh, have a number and I multiply that by, uh, say, 9, so it adds that 9 times and automatically shifts the carriage to the right. So I can now enter the next digit. So I've multiplied this number now by 469. Doing it this way, you have to um, enter this number you multiply by from right to left, starting with the units, the tens, the hundreds, and so on. This is because by default, pressing one of these multiply keys will shift the carriage to the right. You can, however, also do it in the opposite direction. So, um, I, can, um, I can change to shifting to the left by pressing this green arrow button. Now pressing any one of these, these multiply keys will shift the carriage to the left. So if I want to multiply 1, 2, 3, 4 by itself, I can just enter 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And the result is shown here. So yeah, these, these green arrow buttons change which direction the carriage is pushed uh, after you press a multiplier key. You can also press a non-shift key and then it won't move at all. You can use that if you're doing a, a correction, if you've typed the number wrong, if I wanted to multiply it by one, two, three, eight, I would just add another four here. There you go. Um, so that's, that's a multiplication. Uh, so I'll, I'll clear the uh, inputs, the counter, the middle, and the input. You can press these at the same time. And uh, another way of moving the carriage instead of using these arrow keys is using this uh, carriage tabulation uh, option. If I press one of these red numbered buttons, for example the 6, 
it will shift the carriage to the sixth position. This uh, arrow here shows you that it's currently at the sixth uh, position here. This button stays down, so it's now set so that this is the default uh, position of the uh, calculations. So after you've, if you've done some, some calculations and things have moved, you can always return it to the original position by pressing this clear tab button here. So if you clear everything, you can also press that button at the same time, so you remove, yeah, return to the uh, default position. You can also just uh, choose, choose another one of the carriage uh, positions instead. Um, yeah, so I've done addition, subtraction and multiplication. I'll now do uh, division. Uh, let me use that, do that on the tenth position, so as far to the left as possible. I'll enter uh, 113. Uh, I don't actually have to do that all the way on the left of the keyboard, that's a bit silly. I'll, I'll enter 355 and divide that by 113. That is a well-known uh, approximation to pi. If I now press this auto button, it'll start doing the division. Just before it starts, it will clear this uh, counter register, so it doesn't matter that there's a 1 here, the 1 that appeared when I entered this number. It'll clear that before it does the actual division. So let's start. There we go, it's done the division and it has a remainder of 40. Um, let's try that again. But this time I'll change this switch here, switch this forward. And what happens now is at the end of the division it clears the main register, so it clears out the uh, remainder. It clears the input as well, and it will return this carriage to its current position in the, uh, in the tenth place. So let's do that. There we go. So it's cleared the input, cleared the register, and it just leaves you with the answer. You can uh, stop a division uh, prematurely by pressing the stop button. Let's do that too. Here we go. As you can see, it did still clear this, the register and the input, but it's now only calculated it to five places, or the main, the integer and four decimal places after the decimal point. And yeah, I think I've pretty much ha handled everything except for the reverse button. This uh, swaps the uh, addition and subtraction. So that allows you uh, allows these multiplier keys to uh, subtract instead of add. Uh, so let me uh, add something. If I sub want to subtract twelve uh, three times, I can do it by pressing reverse three. I could also do the, do it the same thing by pressing the minus button and the three. But if I do that it will clear the input, because the minus button and the plus button as well, they clear the input. Uh, so, 
uh, yeah, that's that's about all. All I've, uh, I think I've handled. I've told you everything that can be done here. So the uh, yeah, this was the Marchant ACT 10M. Thank you for watching.